All right, we back, y'all. One of my, one of my neighbors stopped by. He told me, told me he wanted some okra. I'm gonna say the nigga wrote some okra anyway. <laughs> uh, they come by and place their orders. That's why you have to be careful when you're going in the front team, because people think you the grocery store. They want to place their orders. Every time I see a P, I want to push it down. I, I, you don't have to. Like I said, that's just me being, me being me. But anyway. Let's head over here. This is the last look. Let me see. Ain't much to show over here, y'all. It's just this is like a volunteer tomato. It is. Look at it. Volunteer tomato. But that's just uh uh walking onion. But I wanted to show you this down here. This down here though, this ain't walking onion. When you get them little bitty seeds at the top of your garlic, if you let that flower open up and make you get some little what's called bulb bills or bulblets. They basically are, they're not technically seeds, but they're clones of the parent plant. And they be real, real little. And when you first plant them, they come up even smaller than this. Here goes some more of them coming up. Actually, I think this a bunch of onion, but, but you can grow the exact same plant uh, from those. So if you ever let your garlic, let the little flower open and mature, and you have a whole bunch of little uh, seeds on there, you and you, you just broadcast uh, this here is tree marigolds or uh, mexican sunflower or diversifolia tithonia diversifolia but let's call it tree marigolds or whatever mexican sunflower uh uh i had this last year it, it overwintered and then what did i do i cut it down i did something but i moved it here long story short i moved it here this did not give me sunflowers this year. It ain't looking like it's going to. Um, but let me tell you what happened. Laura, when she sent that limb through here, it ripped the top out of this plant. You see right there where it's all snatched off? It ripped the top out. This wasn't here. It branched out. But these plants, they tend to branch out on you. So if you got somewhere to do it, you know. But next year, I'm hoping I'll get a Next year, I'm hoping I get her uh, flowers on this. So, uh, I'm just letting it kind of grow. And let me tell you something about this here now. Y'all know me, I ain't no flower person. I really ain't good at sunflowers. I, I plant sunflowers. Them thing came up. None of those birds got them on. What happened? Somehow, what else? Uh, but this is the only sunflower that I've been able to get to come up. But I'm going to tell you why I'm growing this. This... This, this green foliage or even yellow because it sheds its leaves as it grow up see how the leaves start looking like this you might well pull it off it ain't doing nothing and I go through here and I, I, I pull off all the little leaves that you know don't look like nothing and then you can either chop and drop you can either just drop this straight on there or you can put this in a bucket of barrel make it some tea out of it this is supposed to have the same amount of nitrogen as chicken manure. That's what it's supposed to have. Now, you also can chop these whole branches down and chop and drop them around trees or what have, what have you. It'll come right back. I ain't gonna lie. This is a hardy plant because I ain't had many plants. This plant got pretty damaged during Laura and you really can't even tell it's damaged. Uh, nobody really can tell and it ain't been that long since uh, Laura came through. Um, these are my two Violet de Bordeaux figs. I got some celery right there. This is uh, fever grass. It's known in Jamaica or what people call it here. It's lemongrass. I want to show y'all this. Y'all see that bug right there? He moving. It's kind of hard to, hard to get him. If I can't get, get it focused in. But it's kind of hard to see, but that's an assassin bug. And I'm not sure what pests I have here that drew these assassin bugs because I've never had them before. I always had those, and this is this is not a leaf legged bug. That's the bug that in the nymph stage it looks like an assassin bug, but it's not really an assassin bug. That what you just saw was actually an assassin bug. Um, I've actually seen a mating over there uh, in the peas. 
So, um, yeah. So, I'm not sure what drew them assassin bugs, but I got them. I've actually seen them carrying other bugs on their little... They got a little proboscis or... It's like a knife for a mouth. Like, they stab stuff like a sword. And they be toting the little bug around. I see them toting flies and all kinds of stuff. But these my my uh, pineapples. So, I got them two. And then... These actually, it's two of them in there. I'm not gonna separate them just yet. Um, let's see what else we got going on. Who dug this up? This is uh, maybe the maybe the rain did this anyway. It's this my avocado right here. Now I had planted this sucker. Now some dug that up. Cause ain't no way it this is level on this side. But what? Where the, where the dirt? All out here? Ain't nothing but a squirrel did that. Oh Lord, have mercy, y'all. That's enough to make me, make me want to cuss. And I mean it. It'll make me want to cuss. When, when the squirrels come dig, just dig your stuff, just plumb up. They don't even care. They just, yeah, I'll dig you, dig you up. You don't need that. Sorry, uh, holding y'all every which way, but the way you can see. But anyway, I know what they they digging down in here looking for acorns. It's that time of year. But anyway, that's another avocado pit I got from the store. I planted a bunch of random seeds in there that I had laying around. I don't even know what the seeds are. This is my potato mint. I'm going to up-pot it. I planted a bunch of uh, kale in some of these. And some of these got walking onions. These right here are my guamachi, which is a Mexican tamarind. It's supposed to have a... You, you eat the flesh out from around the seeds like you do a regular tamarind. But that one's supposed to be sweet. Tastes like an apple. Uh, sunflowers. I mean, nothing really to see here, people. Um, I'm just kind of growing these beets at the top. I just kind of harvest the tops on them. Now, let me tell y'all something. Just because, oh, they're trying to make a little beet down there. Now, see, these things had grown all year, and they were planted so tight that they wouldn't make no beet. But just because they don't make a beet, eat the top. Okay, we got strawberries still down there. You see them? Look at this. Look at this here. Let me try to show y'all. Look how big these calyxes look. I'll be honest. This is this is the best harvest of this I've ever gotten. Uh, you can see all those over there. And and also I want to mention to you, uh, if y'all ever look at Dan Primacus and Food Horse, y'all will see his bush is huge. But if I had to guess, I don't think his bush dies back in the winter. Um, mine dies back. Now, I don't know if this will come back or not. I'm going to let it die and I'm going to see if it come back. See, last time I pulled stuff, and I'm going to quit pulling stuff, I'm going to let stuff die back and then see what will happen. And see if it come back in the spring. So, I'm going to see if it come back in the spring. But, um, you can see, as my camera adds the food, but you can see how, uh, how good this stuff looks. And don't just eat the calyxes. You can eat these leaves too. Them leaves got a good taste to them. Look at my collars. They cool off. Look at them. Now that one don't look so hot.